Hey, what up, YouTube? Ty 1822. Here your review on TNA No Surrender. So, TNA No Surrender, first match of the night was Kid Cash versus Jesse Sorensen. Now, this match was, um, it was okay. You know, good offense from both guys. You know, Jesse Sorensen, uh, upcoming X Division, you know, star. You know, Kid Cash, a veteran, still can go in the ring. I'm I'm a fan of him. And you know, this match was this match was like I said was okay. Jesse Sorensen gets the win. Now he is the number one contender for the X Division title. Now, you know, Jesse Sorensen, I mean, I think it's a little bit too early to give this guy, you know, an X Division title match. But you know, down the line, he will get over with the crowd. I think he got the end rank ability to get over with the impact zone crowd. Cause that's all they stand anyway. So that's why I said the impact zone crowd. Next, Bully Ray versus James Storm. This match was it was it was boring to me. I did not enjoy it. You know, James Storm put Bully Ray into a submission move. Then they said it's the DQ. A legal move, so Bully Ray gets the win. Classic overbook TNA. I was so confused. I'm like, what happened? I saw Storm had him submission, and I'm like, huh? Huh? Hey, but Bully Ray advances to the Battle for Glory Finals. Next, the knockout championship match. Winter, Mickey James. Oh, this was unwatchable. This storyline sucks. You know, I can't stand it. TNA have to end it. And you know, Winter is the new knockout champion again. What was the reason of Winter losing the belt to Mickey James? Oh, two weeks later, Winter gets the belt back again. Just very stupid. This feud should end badly. It, it needs to end right now. Just do it now. It sucks. Next, d and the Pope versus the team, stable, whatever. Nobody cares about Mexican-American. This match was unwatchable. Mexican-Americans get the win, retain their TNA Tag Team titles. Next, Samoa Joe, Matt Morgan. This was good right here. You know, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, Joe looked like a beast in this match. Matt Morgan looked very good in this match. But Matt Morgan gets the win. Now, you know, Samoa Joe been taking out, you know, a lot of stars lately. I think it's a bad decision to, you know, put Matt Morgan over Samoa Joe. It, don't kill Samoa Joe, you no know, character TNA. If you make this guy take out stars like Crimson, you know, and others, and Matt Morgan beats him. That could kill, you know, kill his momentum. So TNA, you have to be careful with Samoa Joe. Next match, Gunner versus Robert Rude. This right here to advance to the finals in the Battle of Glory series. This was solid right here. You know, Gunner, you know, Robert Rude, these guys are future world champions. Yes, Gunner will be a future TNA world champion. So, you know, this match, like I said, I enjoyed it. Rodney wins a bounce to the final of the Battle for Glory series. At the X Division title match. Match of the night, Brian Kendrick, Austin Aries. This was just good. It wasn't a spot fest. You know, it was just good old wrestling from both these guys. Good, no, good X Division wrestling. Austin Aries, this guy got the complete package. I love this guy, no homo, but you know, he gets the win in this match, Austin Aries, your new X Division Champion. Next, um, this to go to the final, Bully Ray versus Robert Wu. Now this was good right here, I enjoyed it, Bully Ray, his heel tactics, this guy is the best heel in TNA today, he can get the crowd to go off on him, and I enjoy it. Bully Ray as a hill in TNA today. But you know, Robert Rule gets the win and Robert Rule events to the Bound for Glory Finals. Congratulations, Robert Rule. You deserve this. You are a future world champion. 
down the line. Down the line, Robert Wu will be champion. This guy, he got everything to look, the wrestling ability, the mic skills. This guy going to be a star in TNA wrestling. I always knew it, and TNA always knew it themselves. And they finally pushing Robert Wu. Next, the main event, triple threat match, TNA World Heavyweight Championship match. Kurt Angle, Sting, and Mr. Anderson. Now, this right here, uh, it was okay, you know, Sting would just, you know, laying down for a bit, you know, classic Sting, laying in the rain, ain't doing nothing. You know, it was just, uh, I can't really tell you what happened because it was not that good to watch. But Hulk Hogan comes out, blinds Sting, apparently, so Sting grabs the referee. Kurt Angle puts Sting in the Olympic Slam. Kurt Angle retains his World Heavyweight Championship. This booking decision was terrible, terrible, terrible. Clash it again. Clash it. TNA again. Same old bullshit with TNA. They could have came up with a better finish than they're apparently getting blind by Hogan and Kurt Angle retains the World Heavyweight title. So, you know, that's it for TNA. No surrender. I'll give this pay-per-view since, you know, I'm in a good mood because my Eagles won. I was going to say 5 out of 10, but I'm going to say 6 out of 10 for TNA. No surrender. So give me your thoughts on this pay-per-view. Did you like it? Did not? And don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.